if you lost your job, your bills may not be getting paid. Right now, there's an executive order preventing utilities from being turned off if you don't pay. CBS 17 is digging deeper as that order is set to expire in just a few weeks. Our Capitol reporter, Michael Hyland, live in Raleigh with why it will not be extended. Michael. With so many people unemployed, Governor Roy Cooper said he didn't want them to suddenly have their power or their water shut off. But some cities are facing serious financial problems because some people who could pay are not. The lights are on. The water is running. As the pandemic began, Governor Roy Cooper issued an executive order saying you couldn't have your utilities shut off just because you couldn't pay. State Treasurer Dale Falwell says in some communities, there were unintended consequences. It's putting them in, in financial peril. He says some cities, especially in eastern North Carolina, have struggled. Well, we're putting people in a in a mathematical situation which where the cities or the citizens are never going to be able to climb out of it. Elizabeth City Manager Richard Olson recently got a waiver from the Attorney General office to require bills be paid again. There's still an option for people experiencing hardships to get help, but he says some people are not paying because they mistakenly believe the bills got waived altogether. He said if nothing changed, there was the risk of raising rates on customers or being in default. I think the spirit of what the governor was trying to do is is commendable. However, he should have consulted with local units of government, uh, first of all. During a conference call Tuesday with all the statewide elected officials, Governor Cooper said the order was necessary, as 179,000 families are now eligible to have some utility get disconnected. I don't think anybody wants to cut off people's utilities and I hope that that will be a, a last resort. He said it's not likely this moratorium will get extended past the 29th of this month and providers need to work with customers to get payment plans in place. The governor's order waived late fees and interest payments, but he reiterated today the order did not waive these bills altogether, and people will have to pay those off in the coming months. Live in Raleigh, Michael Hyland, CBS 17 News.